Um, so my term paper was on uh, sort of the modern day waste management and how it relates to environmental and human health. So first of all, uh, short history, waste management started around 500 BC in Athens, where we just took all our stuff and put it in a dump about 1.5 miles out of town. Uh, Romans came, they had the first garbage collection service instead of just throwing stuff on the street. Um, 1700s England, we sort of started using landfills a little bit more, just dumping it in the river and that didn't turn out very well. Um, and, uh, you know, then we go to 1890s New York, we had the white coats like cleaning the streets because it was so dirty in the uh, United States, obviously. Um, and then that sort of led to the developing countries uh, techniques for waste management today, which is uh, just, you know, basically a lot of landfills and recycling. Um, so today, the World Bank estimates that around 2.01 billion tons of uh, solid waste, solid municipal waste are produced per year. And that causes around 1.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere. Um, so that obviously, you know, is a big contributor to global warming. Um, so first of all, the health effects, um, you know, you obviously have air pollution caused by all the, the waste. Um, when we burn stuff in landfills, it releases methane, which is another greenhouse gas. Um, it, it could, you know, seep improper waste management. Uh, you have stuff seeping into the water, seeping into the ground, uh, rivers, um, you know, biomagnification, all these like toxic things should, could very easily get into the ecosystem and cause health effects to people. Um, uh, for instance, like uh, the Love Canal, um, we've all heard about that in chapter 12 on the last midterm. Um, basically, we had a chemical plant like dumping stuff into a, a chemical dump. Uh, we closed that, built homes and schools over it and uh pretty soon when people started living there they had all sorts of miscarriages and kidney failure and birth defects cancer all that stuff um so yeah so improper waste management is definitely detrimental and a lot of poor countries do it just because you know they don't have a lot of resources to properly allocate to waste management so um most of their stuff is just, you know, they dump it wherever they can. And a, a lot of developing countries, a lot of developed countries, richer countries, pay the poorer countries to take their toxic waste so they don't have to deal with it. And so the toxic waste does not disappear from the rich countries. It just goes to the poor countries and they're even worse at managing it than the rich countries. So um, poor countries definitely bear the burden more of uh, improper waste management. Um, so waste management in developing country or developed countries basically and like i said all landfills recycling a uh, really great thing you know burning aluminum cans to remake them into whatever aluminum thing you want um uh yeah uh it you know reduces landfills uh greenhouse gases reduces pollution um helps you know save on natural resources um some things that we can do are obviously just try to use less, but we're very like consumeristic culture, so probably won't work. But you know, hydro flasks, reusable bags, all that stuff. Um, so one important thing is um, WHO, WHO specifically found that in Africa, developing countries a lot, uh, a third of the uh, burden of disease, basically causes of disease, is due to uh, environmental factors risk factors and the top environmental risk factor is improper waste management so you can see the pretty dire effects there um and the national library of medicine also stated that improper waste management had a correlation with cancer uh, genetic mutations kidney failure increased rates of diseases so definitely not good the last thing um and it's a new thing uh, over the past 20 years or so is that uh, e-waste um Basically, we learned about toxic metals um, in a couple of chapters before and how it affects on humans. E-waste, uh, like computers, has that. And so when we dump it in places and it gets burned, uh, you know, goes into the toxic metals, go into the air. We inhale that and we get all the bad health effects. It could also uh, seep into the ground and in the water and come through there. Um, basically, that's it. Thank you.